I guess I'm pretty lucky to have my own room, but I still think it would be really fun to have lots of brothers and sisters. Wow. Hello, chaps. Hello, Stella. Hi, Barney. What a cool hat and uniform. Why, thank you. See, I've just come from merry old England where I was visiting the palace guards and they let me wear this really neat uniform while I helped them guard the palace. I think you look really cool. Why, thank you. <laughs> now, did I hear someone say they wish they had lots of brothers and sisters? That was me, Stella. Well, that reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Terrific. But I'm going to need some help from all of you to help me tell it. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, now, once upon a time, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Oh, that is a lot of children. <laughs> she loved them all dearly, each and every one. But with all these children, her work was never done. Now, there was a young girl who lived in a shoe. She had no brothers or sisters. What was she to do? So one day, as she watched all those children at play, she joined in their fun and decided to stay. <laughs> there are lots of friends to play with. <laughs> Later, she discovered it wasn't all fun. The little girl wondered just what she had done. See, finding a spot at the table for lunch was not very easy with this hungry bunch. <laughs> Oops. It's a little bit crowded. <laughs> Soon it was time for the children to rest. But finding a bed was truly a test. When they were finally tucked into bed, the little girl wished she was at home instead. So before the sun set to bring an end to the day, the girl went back home and decided to stay. Home was so quiet, without all the noise. She had plenty to eat and her very own toys. And when it was time for bed that night, she looked out her window and oh, what a sight. The old woman and her children were so happy she could see, but the little girl smiled. My home is just right for me. Yay! <laughs> Why, thank you. And I sure had lots of fun sharing it with you. I'm going to tell that story to my new little brother. You're getting a new little brother? Little brothers are wonderful. I think so too, Stella. <laughs> oh my, well, I must be going. I've got to get this uniform back to the palace. <laughs> Cheerio, good friends. Cheerio, Stella. Toodles. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, I know. Let's make a present for Kim's new baby brother. Oh, that's a great idea, Curtis. Yeah. Thanks. That would be very nice. Well, you know, Curtis, since you and Danny both have little brothers, I'm sure you can come up with a terrific present. That's for sure. If we know anything, we know what little brother's like. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh boy. And I know that you and Kristen will dream up something very special for a little brother, too. I'm already thinking, Barney. Oh, I can't wait to see what you come up with. So what should we make? Well, uh... Oh, well, it's always nice to give someone something that you like. How about a bedtime storybook? Oh. Then I can read to my little brother before he goes to sleep. Well, that'll yeah. be a great gift. And it'll be really special because you both made it. Thanks, Barney. Oh, well, I'll go check on Curtis and Danny. I can't wait to see what they're up to. <laughs> Hi there, guys. Hi, Barney. Oh, may I see what you're making? Sure, it's a mobile. Let's see. I need the black marker to draw the soccer ball. 
Okay. Thanks. Let's see. Would you hand me the arm, please? I need to hang the football. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Wow, this mobile is going to look still horrendous. Oh, you two really know how to share together. Thank you, Barney. It's not so tough to share your stuff. It's not so tough to share your stuff. It's not so tough to share your stuff with a friend. It's great to learn to wait your turn. It's great to learn to wait your turn. It's great to learn to wait your turn. Be polite. That's right. When a friend comes over to play, it's not nice to say. That's mine, that's mine, that's mine, mine, mine. Put it back, put it back, put it back, back, back. And when you share, <laughs> you show you care. <laughs> and when you share, <laughs> you show you care. <laughs> and when you share, you show you care for your friend. <laughs> if you want to do what's right, don't hold your stuff too tight. It's fun, it's fun, and much more fair. So share, share, share. It's not so tough. It's not so tough to share your stuff. To share your stuff. It's not so tough. It's not so tough to share your stuff. To share your stuff. It's not so tough to share your stuff. It's not so tough to share your stuff. It's not so tough to share your stuff with a friend. Looks like you've got everything under control here, so I'm going to see how the girls are doing. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, see ya. Baby brothers have nice like stories. Yeah, thanks for helping. You're welcome. So, have you finished the book for Kim's baby brother? We sure did. It's right here. Oh, hey, that looks like a terrific book. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Barney. I'm going to show it to Danny and Curtis. Oh. See you later. Okay, Bye. See you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> I hope Kim's baby brother will like the book. Oh, I know he will. <laughs> Barney, I think Kim is so lucky to be getting a baby brother. I really wish I had a brother or sister. Well, you know, Kristen, you have your mom and your grandmother, and of course, you'll always have me. <laughs> You can count on me I'll always be around I will cheer you up When you're feeling down I like you You like me We have fun together When it's sunny When it rains on me I'll always be around I will I will cheer you up when you're feeling down oh you're, you're my buddy, buddy. I'm, I'm your pal side by side we're playing if you ever need my help I'm your side I'm on your side I'm on your side I'm You can count on me Because I am your friend We make a happy team Together to the end You can count on me Because I am your friend That's right We make a happy team Together to the end You can count on me 
what Danny and Curtis made. What a neat mobile. I think it'll look great in your baby brother's room. You two did a terrific job. Thanks, Barney. We had fun making it. This is a cool book, too. Your brother will really like this. Yeah, I think you're right. Thanks for these wonderful gifts, everyone, and for being such wonderful friends of mine. <laughs> Let every good friend come and join in a song. Singing with friends of mine. So here is a song and I'll pass it along. Singing with friends of mine. Singing with, singing with, singing with friends. Singing with, singing with, singing with friends. Singing with friends, singing with friends. Singing with friends, singing with friends of mine. Cool. Gather around, everybody. <laughs> a friend on the left and a friend on the right. Playing with friends of mine. Forever and ever, I'm right by your side. Playing with friends of mine. today, Barney. Would you like to see it? Oh, I certainly would. <laughs> what is it? It's my family picture. Oh. Here's my mom and grandma, me, and of course, my kitten princess. <laughs> oh, you have a very special family, Kristen. Your mom and your grandmother love you very much, and I know princess is a perfectly happy kitten. <laughs> You're right, Barney. I do have a wonderful family. Oh, you all do. Moms, dads, grandmas and grandpas, brothers and sisters, too. There's something special about every family. <laughs> oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah. Mine's just right for me. Come on. I've got a friend who lives with his mom and dad, with his brother and sister too. They've got a cat and a dog and a pet bullfrog, and I'm really glad they do. There's a girl I know who lives with her mom, her dad lives far away. Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. I know a boy who's new. He just moved in. He moved from Alabama. And the person who's the head. Declare, there's nothing better than being with family and friends, my dear. Why, sure there is, Miss Etta. Sure there is. Well, what's that, Scooter? Why, spending time with family mm -hmm. and friends mm -hmm. and eating lots and lots and lots, of course. <laughs> nuts. Of course. Yeah, you're getting it. <laughs> uh, 